Hello, hello, good afternoon. I'm sorry, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, miss. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello, hello everyone. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, how was the weekend? It's nice. <laughs> very good, very good. Hi uh -huh, everyone and the rest of you, how are you tonight? Uh -huh. Hello Atilio, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Very good. How was the weekend? Liste. All right. Liste. Okay. Hello. Okay. Okay. Hello. Yes, Atilio, I can listen to you. Hello. Okay. And the rest of you? Who else? Who else? I can see Celia. Hello, Celia. How are you? Hello. Good evening. I am fine. And my weekend is great. It was great? <laughs> Sounds good. How about you, Tony? How are you? Hi, teacher. Um, I'm very busy. Um, Tired and happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a lot of feelings. How about yes. how about your dad? How is it going? This this is the, the the contrast of the different feelings because my father was hospitalized yesterday and today is um uh, when, when the hospital um go the alta. Uh, uh, so yeah. he's at home now? Um, yes, uh, today in the afternoon um, with some complicated um, cares uh, about the health. And well, uh, it's a, a, new, um, a new season, a new time with, with him. And uh, a lot of changes, alimentations, oh. and cares and medicines. Hello. All right. Okay. Well, I hope he gets better soon. Thank so, you so much. in this case, imagine that's a very nice vocabulary. If you want to say, for example, in this case, el fue dado de alta. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sending in the chat. So, you can say he was released. Okay. Yes. Released. Okay. But we need to add the verb to be, right? He was released. El fue dado okay. de alta. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, everybody, welcome. Welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here. Well, only three people have the camera on. I wish everybody could have the camera on so I can see you, everyone. Come on. Okay, everyone, how was the traffic today? Tell me. I was checking the news. And it seems that San Salvador is a chaos. I mean, I don't know what happens. What do you think could be like the solution for the traffic? Do you think that the government should reduce the cars? Or, or I don't know, what do you think? What would be the best solution? Hmm. I think that the, um, the subway will be okay. a very good solution, but if I think in the future, I think that the better is the teletransportation. <laughs> Definitely. I wish I had that superpower, right? But imagine it's, it's pretty sad. I was reading, well, on Facebook, you know, I like to read the comments from people. And it's pretty sad that there are some people that say, I start working at 9 a.m. So it's relative, a little bit late in the morning, right? But they have to wake up at 4 a.m. in order to arrive on time. So, I mean, that's pretty sad. So, yeah, I hope that the traffic improves. Sorry for you, everyone, that you have to travel a lot, right? 
So, well, but I hope that in the future we can have a subway or a teletransportation. That will work too. Okay, everybody, today we are starting. Oh, yeah, I can see Henry now. Ah, very good. Henry, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for us. Very good. Very Welcome good. to. I'm great. I'm happy to see you here, everyone. So, we're going to start. Did you study during the weekend? Uh, okay, I'll take your silence as yes. <laughs> How is the platform? Hmm. It's great. <laughs> okay. Excellent, excellent. There are some people, right, that already finished all the platforms, so everybody, that's great. Remember, today, basically, we are starting the last week. This is the last week, so that means that you have to finish the platform this week. Remember, as soon as possible, on Friday night, I'm going to send your grades. So try to finish the platform. Okay, as I said, some of you already finished and I could see very good grades. Some of you haven't started the unit number four. So this week you have to do it. So do you remember the topics that we studied last week? Uh -huh, everyone, what was the topic that we studied last week? Oh my goodness. You the don't bird in the bath. Thank you, Abigail. Exactly. We studied the verbs in past. We studied the regulars or the irregulars. Hmm. Do you remember? The left with the regular. regular Excellent. Very good. The son T D E E D. That's the one, excellent. So everybody, I hope you have been practicing that topic, okay? Because the idea is that today, continue studied simple past, but focused on the irregular verbs, okay? So let's start, I'm going to share the presentation. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, excellent. So today is February 20th. Imagine February is about to finish, guys. This year, time flies, basically. So this is the week number four. We are in the unit number four. This is the last week. Five more days and the level is over. So I hope you are ready for the next level. All right. So please, everybody, just a reminder attendance okay only five more days so please try to stay here in the class don't miss any class and try to connect the two hours so you can have the full percentage in the attendance okay please now, this is the topic for today, how to use the simple pass in the yes, no questions, but we are going to include the irregular verbs. Before moving, this is the class objective. Uh, today, guys, I want you to be able to discuss about meetings, about trainings, or other works related to events, but always using the past. And in this case, we are going to use not only the verb to be, but also the regulars and the irregular verbs. But before checking the irregular verbs, let's see if you remember the regulars. That is a topic that we practiced last week. So we are going to do an exercise and you just have to decide what is the best pronunciation for each verb. Okay, if you think that ask, hmm, ask, what do you think? What is the correct pronunciation for this verb? With the asked. Ah, okay. If you think that is with asked, click on it and put it there. 
What about um, to, to, to believe? What happens with believe? Believed, believed, or believed? Believed. With the? Mm, yes. Okay, so that is what I want you to do, everybody, with all the verbs. Okay, you have to decide where do you need to put each of them. When you finish, because I'm going to send this link, this is an activity that you have to do individually right now. And when you finish, I want you to click here in finished and then click in check my answers. And I want to see your score. So everybody, you have to do this activity, please. And when you finish, take the screenshot and send it in the chat because I want to see your score. So I want to prove that your answers are correct or not so I can identify if the topic was understood or not. Okay, so this is a practice that you have to do right now. I'm sending the link on WhatsApp's group, but also I'm sending the link here on Zoom. So everybody, please open up the link, complete the exercise, check your answers, if the answers are correct or not, take a screenshot and the screenshot send it in the chat. Go ahead. If you have questions or if you have a doubt with some verbs, let me know and I will help you. Go ahead, complete the exercise. Teacher. Yes. Fíjese que no puedo mover los, los dibujitos. Why? Estoy en el teléfono. All right. Anyone else? Do you have that issue too? No. I stay in my phone too, but I can. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I don't know if the connection can affect. If you want to be a little, try it again, right? And if you cannot do it, well, <laughs> you have to do it later, okay? After the class, maybe. But I want to everybody do this practice, everyone, because that's the way that I can see if you uh, understood the topic, right? So I just want to check how the topic was assimilated. So if you cannot do the exercise right now, you can do it after the class. No worries. Teacher, yes? I don't know what happened, but the page not fine in my case. Really? Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know either. Okay, try it again, or you can do it after the class. Okay? Okay, teacher. Very good. Okay, everyone, try to do it, please. I know that if you are in the cell phone, maybe it's a little bit more complicated than if you are on a computer. So try, please, try. Remember at the end, check your answers and take a screenshot and send it in the group, okay? And of course, don't copy everyone. Don't copy. I just want to see your answers. I just want to see if you understood the topic or not. Go ahead. If you have questions, let me know.
If you have questions, let me know, please. Teacher, I have questions. Go ahead. The correct is a three, a grid. I'm sorry. The, In which one? Can you repeat the, the verb? Agree. The agree. The oh, agree. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay. Yeah. Agreed. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Remember, everyone, if the verb is ending in vowel sound, the vowels are always with vibration. Always. Be careful, please. Remember, when you finish, Click in check answers. So I want to see your score. Okay, I can see some of you already finished. Very good, very good. So everybody check your answers, please. And remember, don't copy. I just want to see your grades, okay? I just want to see if the topic was truly understood. If you have a question, just let me know, please. If you have doubts with some verbs, tell me. Remember, at the end of the exercise, click in finish and then check my answers. So I want to see your score. Take a screenshot and send it in the chat, please. That's the activity that you have to do right now. Go ahead, go ahead.
I can see some of you already finished. Very good job. I can see good scores. I liked it. So everyone, send your screenshots, please. I want to see your scores. Very good, very good. Okay, I can see seven people already finished. All right, very good. So I hope everybody do the exercise, please. So for the ones that already finished, how did you feel the topic? How, I mean, the practice, was it easy or difficult? What do you think? Interpretation, easy. All right. And the rest of you, easy or difficult? Mm -hmm. Or 50 50. Uh, so, so. Difficult. Difficult. All right, okay. But you are trying, everyone. You are trying and you are improving a lot. So remember the idea with the regulars, everyone. I know that the spelling is very easy. You just have to add it, in, right? The difficult fact is the pronunciation. So that is exactly what we need to practice more. So if you feel that this is difficult topic, this is the topic that you need to practice more. Okay, so thank you everyone for the ones that are sending the results. I expect everybody send it, please. Remember the idea of this is just to see if everybody understood the topic or not, all right? So we can continue practicing. Now, uh, before continue everyone, if you haven't finished, continue please, no problem. If you couldn't do the exercise, you can do it after the class, no problem. Now, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody please, when you listen to your names, say present. Uh, Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay, Andrea Amalia. Um, uh, okay, thank you. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto is not here. Okay. Celia Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Henry Alberto. Here I am teacher. Right, Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Good, Jose Ezequiel. Okay, Juan Antonio Elias. Sorry, present teacher. Okay, Juan Jose Herrera. Karen Rocío. Present. Okay, Carla Sofía. Okay, Carol Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Good, Luis Miguel. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Nelson Orlando. Present. Okay, eh, Sandra Abigail. Present. Okay, Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Good, Jancy Kelita. Okay, um, Jose Marvin. Present teacher. Good, Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. All right, let's continue everyone. Just a reminder, this is the last week. Okay, so please be careful with the attendance. Okay, try, don't miss the class, please. Stay always in the class. 
the full minutes. All right, that's very, very important, please. So remember, you have to get a very good percentage in the attendance. So if you want to continue with the program, okay? I don't want you to have problems with that. Be careful. All right, let's continue, everyone. For the ones who hasn't finished, please, you can complete the exercise, but I really want to everybody try to do it, okay? Now, we already practiced the regular verbs. Do you have a questions in one of these verbs? Is there a verb that you don't understand why it's incorrect or you don't know exactly the pronunciation? Or is it clear? Any question about these verbs? No? I think that this is a clear but we need to practice more. Um, uh, I need um, uh, additional help. Do you have the link um, that the picture I, that I uh, was uh, posted in the WhatsApp when you touch them and they pronounce the- Ah, the, you can the, listen to it. Exactly. Uh -huh. and yes, so, of course. At the, end of, at the end of the class, Actually, I, I think I have another link which has more verbs. So I will search for that link and I will share it with you, everyone. So you can listen to the pronunciation of those verbs, okay? Okay, um, especially when I feel the throat, uh, the vibration of my throat and, and to difference any one verb, uh, and the similitudes or the difference in the pronunciation and the correct pronunciation in the past. Actually, yes, that helps a lot. So if you don't know, or if you want to be sure what the pronunciation is, remember everyone, you have two options. The first one is to check the, the chart, like Tony sent in the group and I share it in the class, that you can identify which final sounds goes with each option or you can touch your throat and see mm, if I have vibration is this, if I don't have vibration is with this other one. Okay, those are those type of ways that you can use if you want to identify what is the correct pronunciation. But please practice everyone, okay? Now let's continue. That was about the regular verbs. Now, it's important also to practice the irregular verbs. What is the characteristics or what is the difference with the irregular verbs? What happens with them? Uh-huh. The verbs change all, not the, the, final, the, the final with ed. Exactly, very good. For example, imagine the regulars, if you say, for example, play, in the past it's just ED, right? Those are the regulars, so the spelling, very easy. But the irregulars, they change totally. And a very easy example of that is the verb to be right? Because the verb to be changes totally. Imagine in the present we say am, what is the past? Was. Was, very good. So look, in the present is in a one way and in the past is different. So that's why they are called irregular. So the irregulars are difficult in the spelling but maybe in the pronunciation is a little bit easier, okay? So let's see how much irregular verbs do you know? So let's do a practice. We are going to get a game and I want you to pick a number. You will see a verb and you have to tell me the past form of that verb. Again, we are going to do it girl versus boys. So today the boys will start, okay? And the girls will be the next. So boys, 
you have 20 seconds to answer correctly. So can you give me a number, please? Five. Five, okay. What is the past form of understand? Understood. 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 Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. Girls, give me a number. Six. Okay. What is the pass of? Lose. Lost. Can you repeat? Lost. Lost. Okay. Wow. Excellent, excellent. Okay, boys, it's your turn. 14. 14. Yes, 14? Yes. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Salt. I'm sorry? Salt. 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 With D. With D. Okay, Salt. spell it. It's O O. LD. Okay. Sold. Yes. Sold. Very good. Very good. Okay, girls, it's your turn. 12. Okay. Huh. Left. Very easy. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Remember. You pick the numbers, okay? So this is not a manual. This is totally clear. <laughs> okay, boys, it's your turn. Go ahead, give me a number. 10. 10, all right. Oh my God. <laughs> Oops, 10 seconds, I don't everyone. Know. I don't know, teacher. And the rest of the boys? I don't know, too. <laughs> Five Me? seconds. Is suit. I don't know. Slager. Sad. Sad, yes. Uh, Sorry, boy. So write it down. So the pass of seat is sad. Sorry, boys. No points. Okay, girls, it's your turn. Mm, seven. Seven. Run. Run. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh my gosh, girls. Good job. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Don't give up. Number one. Okay. Sent. Are you sure? Yes, sent. Yes, very good job. Okay, girls, go ahead. Four. Four. Very easy, very easy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Phone. 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 Mm, spell it, please. Phone. Uh, F O U N D. That's the one. Pronunciation of this vowel, please. Phone. 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 Okay, the vowel. Um. You okay? Oh, you. you so found. found. We don't say phone, phone, no, found. found. Okay, <laughs> good, good, good. Hey, boys, be careful, be careful. Give me a number. Number three. Three. Ah, this is an ah. easy one. Okay, oh. boys. New. 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 Okay. Okay. New. Yes. Very good. Okay. okay, girls. Go ahead. 16. 16. Ah, easy one. Sun. Are you sure? This song. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, boys. Give me a number. Remember, all the boys can answer. No problem. Go ahead. 15. Give me Which one? 15. Number 15. It's easy. 
<laughs> it's a very easy verb. Boys, exactly. 10 seconds. Girls, don't help. Five seconds, boys. The but. same, put. Yeah, boys, come on. Okay, boys, sorry, but no. Boys. Girls, remember, don't say the answer. Don't help them. Okay, um, girls, it's your turn. Give me number. 11. Okay. This thought, thought, thought. Spell it. T A U S S T. Mm, okay, just be careful with the spelling, okay? T A U. And the pronunciation of this verb is taught, okay? Taught. So be careful with the pronunciation. If you don't pronounce them correctly, I'm going. I'm not going to give you the verbs. Okay, boys, one more time. Give me a number. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Oops. It Should. seems. Same. So is the same. Yeah. Very good, very good. I think that the boys had the more difficult ones. Okay, girls, give me a number. Nine. All right. The same. Catch. So catch, catch. Yes. I don't know. I catch, catch. In the English teacher. Yes, I'm sorry, but the pronunciation of the spelling was in Spanish. So be careful. Pronunciation of this vowel? A. A. Uh -huh. A. U. So I'm sorry, girls, but the pronunciation was not correct. The spelling was like. No, so correct, so no point, sorry. Okay, boys, this is the last one for you. Two or eight? Number eight, number eight. Okay. That's easy, boys. Word. Spell it. W-O-R-E. Okay. Good job, very good, very good. Okay, girls, this is a tie. If you answer correctly, you win. At the contrary, it will be a tie. Penalties or the overtime. <laughs> um, this is stood. easy. Stood. stood. Are you mm -hmm. sure? Yes. Totally sure? Yes. And yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, today the girls were the winners. Congratulations, a very good job, very good job. Okay, so everybody, irregular verbs, it's a little bit complicated because there is not another way but memorizing them. You have to learn them by heart. There is not another option. Okay, so if you want to talk in simple past, you have to memorize the verbs. Okay, unfortunately, well, that's the only way. Okay, so with the irregulars, that is the main characteristics. Now, um, I have a list, you know, let's see. Look at here. Can you see the list that I have here? Yes? Yes. Okay, look. This is a list which has like the most common verbs talking about the irregulars. These are not the only ones. You know that we have a lot of irregular verbs, but these are like the most common, the verbs that we must use in our daily life, okay? I can send you the link if you want, so you can check this, uh, verbs and you can try to memorize them and even you can download the document so if you want to keep it on your cell phone 
or also you can search for more verbs on internet. But the idea is please try to memorize them. I know that there are a lot of verbs and it's like, ah, how can I memorize all of them? Little by little, everyone. For example, imagine today is Monday. You can say, okay, I'm going to memorize uh, five verbs every day. So if you memorize five verbs, okay, cool. How many verbs would you memorize in one week? So imagine in the next week, so little by little, if you think, no, five verbs, it's too much. Okay, let's start with three. You can memorize three verbs every day. So at the end of the week, you have been memorized a lot of them. Okay, so try, because that's the only way that you can improve and talk in simple past. All right, so. When we are talking in simple past using the regulars or the irregular verbs, this is the structure that you need to follow. Basically, if you are using the regulars or the irregulars, the structure is the same. You need the subject in both. And then you need the verb in simple past. The only difference is the regulars are ending in ED and the irregulars, well, they basically change a lot. Okay. And after the verb, you just need the complement. If you want to talk in simple past, but in negative, what do I need? What is the only difference? The... What do I need? The auxiliary. Mm, the auxiliary. I need the auxiliary. And what is the auxiliary? Didn't. 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 And what happens with the verb? The base form. Very no change. Good. Exactly. The verb doesn't change because I already have the auxiliary. For example, can you tell me everyone, um, what did you do today? You can use regulars or irregulars, no problem. What do you do today? I went to work. Very good, I went to work. If you see, I have subject, verb in past and complement. I went to work. How can I say this sentence in negative? I didn't go to work yesterday. I didn't go to work. Very good. So if you see, that's the difference. In simple passing negative, I just need the auxiliary didn't and the verb in the base form. Who else? Tell me, everyone. Uh -huh. Correct. I say I felt this way before. I'm sorry. I felt this way before. So yes. I felt this way before. Yes, because you are using the verb felt. No problem. Uh huh. What else? What do you do today? Today in the morning, for example. I went to hospital. Very hospital. good. All right, that's correct. For real, you went to the hospital? Yeah. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. I, think, I, I feel well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I don't. I feel sick. Uh, I feel sick right now. Okay, I hope you get better soon. Take care, please. All right, who else? Everybody? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you do today in the morning, everyone? I got up six o'clock. Can you repeat? I got up six o'clock. At six o'clock. Very six good. Excellent, excellent. 
So it's very easy to use the regular and the irregular verbs. Okay, so remember, is if, if it is affirmative, the verbs in the past. If it is in negative, just add the auxiliary and then the verb in the base form. So let's have a practice. We're going to practice the positive structure, the negative structure, and the question forms. Because if you remember in the previous class, we studied the yes, no questions using the verb to be and also a different verb. So let's do a practice. Um, let's see. Can you see the exercise? Yes. Okay. If you see, what we need to do is to change the sentence into the simple past. For example, the first sentence is affirmative. He goes to bed early. So the only things that I need to do is to change the verb. Instead of goes, we had to say went. Another one, we don't like onions. So the sentence is in negative. So don't is the auxiliary in simple present. But what is the auxiliary in simple past? It's Did. Didn't. didn't. That's the one. Didn't. So look at the sentence number three. Stewart lives in Vancouver. So what will be the sentence? Is in affirmative or in negative? Affirmative. Affirmative. So how can I say this sentence in simple past? Did a star wars live in Vancouver? Okay, like this. Oops. No. No, live. Ah, okay. Lived and no live. Oh, live. in the basic form. Live. Uh huh. Like this? Yes. What do you think, everybody? Do you agree? Why was your question? Ah, very good. Do I need the auxiliary? No, because you say it's an. Um, in negative. Very good. Yes. Stuart lives in Vancouver. Remember, this is affirmative. We just need to change it into the past. So basically, I don't need the auxiliary. Yeah. So what will be the complete sentence? It is negative. Stuart didn't, Stuart didn't live, live in, in Vancouver. Vancouver. Okay. <laughs> Listen, everyone. I don't want you to change the type of sentence. If it is affirmative, the sentence will be in affirmative. The only things that you have to change is the structure in past. Stuart lives in Vancouver, that's affirmative. But what is the past form of lives? What is the past? Didn't. Live. Lived. Lived. Ah, so Stuart lives in Vancouver, simple present. Stuart lived in Vancouver, simple past. Don't change the sentence. I mean, if it is question, questions. If it is affirmative, affirmative. Now look at the number four. In the number four, does she exercise? is simple present. Is a question, is affirmative, or is it negative? It's a, question. it's a question. It's a question. So it will continue as a question, but how can I change that sentence in simple past? Did she exercise? Ah, did okay. she exercise? Perfect. So look at the difference. Basically, everyone between the simple present and the simple past, what we change is the, the, auxiliary. the auxiliary. Okay, look at the number five. I hate cooking. How can I say that in simple past? Oh, 
I I hated cooking. I hated cooking. Do you agree, everybody? Is that correct? <laughs> yes. Okay, I will be asking individually. Okay, so please, only the person that I ask, only that person can answer. Let me ask to... Da, 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 da. Edwin. Okay, Edwin, number six. What will be the sentence? Um, let me see. <laughs> They played video games. They played video games video like games. this? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Actually, good pronunciation with the regular verbs. Edwin, very, very <laughs> good. You. Excellent. Thanks. Okay, the next one. Ta -ta -ta. Celia, number seven. What is the sentence here? He uh -huh. no knew knew you okay the answer all right are you sure yes that's the one very good now do I need to add the letter s everybody if it is third person no never exactly no, that rule Exactly, that rule is only in the simple present. Okay, next one, it's for Henry. Okay, Henry, number eight. Sorry, I don't understand. Just change the sentence into simple past. I forget his name. You just have to change the verb. Forget is in present. What will be the sentence in past? No, sorry, I don't understand. Forget, do you know what is the past form of forget? Is that the past form? Uh-huh, what is the past of forget? Do you remember? Forgot. Ah, very good. The past of forget is forgot. So the sentence will be, everybody? I forgot, I forgot his, name. His, his name. That's correct. Very good. I forgot his name. Very good. Okay, let's see. T -t -t Ezequiel, number nine. Remember, in the number nine is in negative. So you have to tell me the sentence in negative, but it's simple past. Um, they didn't study history. All right, they didn't study history. Very good. Now, I have a question. Do I need to add the ed to the verb study? No, miss. Why? Because it's, uh, it's not simple present. Good. So in this case, I, I already have the auxiliary. So if you have the auxiliary, remember, bear in the base form. Very good. Okay, number 10. Let me ask to Karen, Karen Rocio, what about the number 10? What will be the sentence? Did they drive? Did they drive? Very good. So you see, we just changed the auxiliary. So everyone, that's the structure in simple past. If it is affirmative, you just need the verb in past. If it is in negative, you just need the auxiliary. In this case, the auxiliary is didn't. If it is a question, again, you just need the auxiliary. The auxiliary is did. When you use the verse in question, don't, don't change, right? Exactly. 
Exactly. Not only in the questions, but also in the negatives. Negative, negative yeah. Mm -hmm. In both, because you have the auxiliary. You yours didn't not, or didn't. Exactly, exactly. Oh. So right. that, that's a rule that you have to remember, everyone. If you have the auxiliary, the verb in the base form. And that is a rule, not only for the simple paths, but for every grammar tense. All right. Is it clear, everybody, the structure of the simple past in affirmative and negative? Yes. yes? Totally clear? Are you sure? Yes. Questions? No. Okay. If you don't have questions, let's do another practice. I have here some sentences and I want you to complete the gaps with the past form of the verbs. If you see the word see, for example, that means that it's affirmative, you just need to change the verb. But if you see the word not, that means that the sentence is in negative. If you see the question mark at the end of the sentence, that indicates question form. Okay, so. Let's pay attention to this exercise, please. Look at the sentence number one. What type of sentence is it? Is a question, is negative, question. or is affirmative? Question. Okay, what do I need first? See? Ah, Did. very good. Did. Did you see? Do I need changes in the verb? No. No, no really. Then so I'll did you see good. Michael yesterday? Very good. Number two. Hmm, the verb is go. We? We went when. by bus to Madrid. Very good. So we just need to change the verb into the past. The number three is in negative and the verb is find. What will be the sentence? He didn't find his glasses. He didn't find his glasses very good now again i will continue asking individually so let me see who's next who's next jorge antonio number four please Uh huh, Jorge. I cannot listen to you. The children, the children, run after the ball. Very good. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, let's see. Atilio, number five. Atilio, are you there? My teacher writes the answer on the bed. Wrote. Okay, but what is the pass of write? Wrote. Ah, remember, the verb has to be in past. Okay, so is my teacher wrote. Roll the answers on the blackboard. Very good. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm, Marvin, number six, negative. Aha, uh -huh, Marvin. Okay, I cannot listen to you. Okay, Karen. No, sorry, sorry. Carol. Carol, number six. Negative. What would be the answer? Mm. Mm. They not play with Jessica. Mm, okay. But this is negative. If I want to say a sentence in negative, remember the structure. What do I need? 
didn't. Didn't. And what happens with the verb? Um, play. Ah, Doesn't change. Not change. Not changes, right? So again, what will be the sentence? They. They. Auxiliary. Didn't. Uh huh. With uh, no play. Okay, play or played. What do you think? Um, play, play. Play, that's the one, base form. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, the next, Tony, go ahead. Number seven. Mm, let me see. Listen is a regular or regular verb? Regular. Regular, okay. My sister listener. Mm. Mm. Pronunciation of the regular verb, please. Mm, let me see if this works. And with N, I need to uh, listen. Ah, much better. Okay, can you read the sentence again, please? My sister listened to radio last night. That's correct. Very good. Very good. Okay, number eight, Stephanie, can you give me the answer in the number eight? In this case, it's a question. Yes. Uh, is didn't smile? Okay, but it's a question. What do I need first, if it is a question? What? Hmm. What just, just no question. It's similar did, to the number one. Did oh, she, sorry. Uh -huh. Did she? Is. Did she? Very good. Did she? And then the verb is smile. Do I, smile. do I need changes in the verb? Smile. Like this? Or yes. Are you sure? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So everybody, if I have the auxiliary, do I need changes in the verb? No, miss. No. No. That is a rule, everyone. That is something very, very important that you have to keep in mind. If you have the auxiliary, easy. The verb doesn't need changes. So if you have the auxiliary, the verbs cannot be in simple past. It's just in the base form, okay? Be careful, be careful. Okay, the next one, um, I think that I asked teacher, everyone. Yes, go ahead. They didn't use the computer at the school. Ah, very good job, very good job. Okay, number 10, volunteer, please. I watched TV ah. in my bedroom. Good pronunciation. I watched. Very good. So everybody, this is the structure for the simple past with the regulars or irregular verbs. Remember, again, if it is affirmative, so for example, in the case of the number seven, I need subject, the verb in simple past, and then just the complement. But if the sentence is in negative, like in the example of the number six, you need the subject, you need the auxiliary, didn't, and the verb in the base form. That means no changes, not in simple past, and the complement. And the last one, if it is a question, like just no question, the auxiliary goes first, then the subject, and again, the verb in the base form. Always that you have the auxiliary, the verb doesn't need more changes. That is basically the structures that you need to follow. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, miss. Any questions so far? Questions, questions? No, no teacher. Are you sure? 
Okay, yes. <laughs> I hope so, I hope so. Okay, on WhatsApp groups, um, I'm sending a list, okay, of the irregular verbs. I'm sending the list because you are going to use them. I know that maybe today you haven't memorized all of them. So I'm sending the list. So there is a link. You can open, and if you want to download them, you can do it, no problem. Now we are going to talk. So I want you to think in all the routine, okay? I want you to answer the question, what did you do today? So I want you to think in everything you did since the moment that you woke up. And I wanted to describe your daily routine in past using the regulars and the irregulars. For example, you can say, well, today um, you can start with the first thing, right? I woke up at 5 a.m. maybe. And what happens then? Ah, then I took a shower or I don't know if you didn't, right? So I want you to continue mention everything you did. Ah, I went to work. I had a meeting with my supervisor. Uh, I sent emails. Then I had lunch with my friends and so on and so on. So try to describe all your daily routine. And look at the next one. The second question says, what didn't you do today? So in this question, I just want you to tell me in negative. Tell me at least three activities that you didn't do. So you have to, to use the auxiliary. For example, um, well, today I didn't uh, watch TV, for example. Or you can say, well, I didn't drink soda, okay? So be careful with the negatives. Remember, you need the auxiliary and the verb doesn't need changes anymore, all right? So you will share these answers with your classmates. If you listen to your classmate, imagine that your classmate said, ah, I take a shower. Is that correct? Yes or no? I take a shower. I took. Ah, I took a shower. Imagine that your classmate said something like, ah, today I cook my lunch. Is that correct? I cook my lunch? No. Why not? What is the correct one? I cooked my lunch. Ah, very good. I cooked. So you had to pay attention to your classmates. If you listen that maybe your classmate is not pronouncing the regulars, so you had to tell them. If you listen to your classmate that maybe they say the verbs in present, so you have to tell them because the idea is to help each other so all of us can improve, all right? So those are the only questions that you will answer today. What did you do today? And what didn't you do today? But please, everyone, in the first question, I need details. Okay, if you say only one activity, no, I need details. Tell me as, well, minimum, minimum five activities. Okay, if you can give me more, much better. Okay, so at least five activities. Is it clear the practice? Understood the practice? Yes? Yeah. Okay, you can use the list that I sent on WhatsApp. Okay, so if you don't know how to say one verb, so use the list. 
on WhatsApp group, there is the list with the verbs. Okay, I will give you two minutes to think about, to remember all the activities you did, and then we are going to join to the breaking rooms. Okay, go ahead, think about what you did, try to analyze what you will say. Okay, think about it, only two minutes, and then we'll go to the breaking rooms. If you have questions, tell me, please. Go ahead. Think Can about you pronounce, it. pronounce hurt in past? Hurt, hurt. Hurt. Yes, it's the same. Hurt, hurt. It's the same. Okay. Yes. The same pronunciation. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. If you have questions, tell me, everyone. Think about it. You can check the list, please. Okay, everybody, you ready? Yes? All of you already thought about it, your activities? Okay, well, I hope you're ready. Remember, you can use the verbs that I send on WhatsApp, please. Try to use the correct pronunciation. And remember, if you want to use regular verbs, no problem, you can do it but be careful with the pronunciation. So let's go to the breaking rooms. Everybody, please try to participate. You will be in groups. So one by one can present the information, okay? Let's go to work. And remember, zero Spanish, okay? Let's go. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> First, Henry. Hey, okay. Because you are a boy. <laughs> you are a boy. I get one. <laughs> I drove to my work at morning. Mm hmm. Only I get a work, I get I get one. Really? Relax. Okay. In progress. You can say one and one. So Henry said one. So Celia, you say another one. Uh, Kenya, can you participate or are you listening? Yes, sir. You can participate? Yes. Perfect. So you can say one and one. Henry said one, 
Celia said another one. Then Kenya. I can see a big idea. So, uh -huh. I did something like paragraph. Ah, perfect. So if you want, you can say the full sentences. And Henry, in this moment, Henry, try to complete, try to think, and your classmate can start. Okay? okay. So, okay. go ahead. Are you winning a coffee? Okay, I go out at 7 a.m. Go out? Go out. Mm, that sounds like a present. What is the past of go? Got out. Ah, got. Ah, got out, sorry. <laughs> very good, very good. Anything else? Uh, me. Okay, I woke up. I woke up late at 6 a.m. because I was tired. Yesterday, I went to Moncagua with my co-workers, and the trip was hard, but it was interesting. For this reason, I didn't go to the gym today after work. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh-huh. Who's next? Celia, do you have more sentences? I had breakfast at 8 a.m. <laughs> I went to war at night <laughs> and I wrote my documents at 10 from uh, 1 p.m. I have lunch at 2 and I come back my work at three. Hmm. Come back. Come back. Yes. No. I went to Came my work. Back. Came back. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's the one. That's the one. Good job. Good job. Uh huh. Who else is ready? Very good. Thank you, uh, Celia. Who's next? Henry or Abigail? I, I did. I did take my breakfast with my coworkers. Okay, do I need the auxiliary if it is affirmative? <clears throat> Let me see. Remember the structure. Yeah. I have the structure here. If it is affirmative, I need Subject, verb in past, and complement. Do I need the auxiliary in affirmative? It's affirmative. Okay, repeat. You say desayunar. Okay, it's I said, mean. you can say, I had uh -huh. a breakfast. Okay. But pay attention here. You cannot say I did have a breakfast because it's affirmative. The auxiliary is only for negatives or for questions. Okay? Okay. Continue, please. I has, I have. Breakfast with my co workers. What else? Next. You are next. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need next a question. Okay, let's I need see. More Okay, no worries, no worries. Abigail, are you there? Yeah. Okay, continue, please. I went to work. I went to work today. Uh huh. What else? I didn't 
wake up early? Uh, I had breakfast late. Okay. Um, I didn't play Duolingo today. All right, nice, nice, very good, very good. Okay, remember everyone, try to give as many details as possible. That's why I sent a link with the verbs so you can know what the past form is. Now, continue with the negative sentences, please, and don't forget the auxiliary and the correct structure, okay? Go ahead. I ate my lunch. And finally, at 5 p.m. in the noon, I went to my house. Then, um, three things I didn't do today. For example, in the morning, I didn't take a coffee. And um, I didn't run today. I didn't go to the church. I didn't watch TV because I I come I came late at my house only. For him. Yeah. I know this. I know this question is is not in past, but I would like to know if you if you wake up. Uh, it's in you say um three uh, three a.m. three a.m. Do you have to do that every day? Yeah, to from Monday to Friday. Friday. Okay. On, on Saturday, when I go to work, I wake up at 4 or 4 30 because i uh, go to work at 5 30 in the morning okay because the traffic is is um, on saturday is most um is is most fast uh from from Monday to to Friday is is horrible in the morning. I I stay in the bus for today two hours twenty minutes more wow. in, the, in the morning. Today, today in the morning. In the mor yes, today in the morning and and the same I, time in the afternoon. Today in the morning I took the bus at four. For, for ten, and um, open open the office at six six forty five six twenty five a.m. You have the keys of their office. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay, it's so crazy. Well, okay, but you have a lot of money with this war. Mm -hmm. In the dinner in the afternoon. Okay. And you? Uh, I didn't uh, go to the work. Uh, I didn't take a lunch. And I didn't I didn't drink coffee in the morning. Okay. Uh, only that. Uh, 
en, en the office was dirty for powder. The wind was hard. <laughs> and I went to restaurant and ate fried potato and drank coffee with bread. <laughs> In other activity, I designed a funeral car from first anniversary and the client approved very fast and this is good for for me. <laughs> wow. And I didn't watch a series because I watched my bed lining. Uh, I need to I need a clean it frequently because my dog love will sleep in my bed and <laughs> it is necessary clean clean it. Ask. Wow. Yeah, hello. And you got it. All right, very good, very good. So, everybody, do you finish? Everybody already present? Not, not. <laughs> okay, who's next? Karen and me. Karen and me. Karen is not. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I I got up at five a.m. I have breakfast at eight a.m. I got at work at nine a.m. I have lunch at twelve m.d. I have dinner at seven. Bien. And I didn't exercise and I didn't not visit my family. I didn't go to visit. Okay, very good, very good. Oh, wow. My invitation. <laughs> Okay, Atilio, do you already uh, practice or not? Um, uh, I did receive for a uh, partner festival. Um, I did cleaning in the room. Uh, I did watch the clothes. I, I did buy it uh, until it built. Um, I did visit my relatives. Um, what did, did, didn't do today? Um, I, I did not go to work. Uh, I did not send rooted report this date uh, only. Okay. Just be careful, Atilio. Super good with the negatives, but be careful with the affirmatives. Remember, everyone, if it is affirmative, what is the structure that you need to follow? What do I need first? If it is affirmative, I need the subject and then? I need the verb in past, and then I need the complement. So if I say I did cleaned, is that correct? No. 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 It's, so it's if the sentence is affirmative, no auxiliary. The auxiliary is only for the negatives or questions, okay? Be careful with that. So please, if it is affirmative, no auxiliary. 
All right? Okay. Very good. Okay. okay, everybody. We don't have more time. We need to go back to the main room. Okay? Okay. Very good. Let's go back. Okay, time's up, time's up, time's up. Okay, I'm waiting for everybody. I can see some people are still in the groups. Let's wait for them. Let's go back, let's go back. Okay, everyone, how was the practice? Easy, difficult, 50-50. What do you think? How was the practice? Uh-huh. How was the practice? What do you feel? Is it easy to talk in simple past or is difficult? Facile, right. Difficult pronunciation. Ah, very good point. If you see for some people, writing is easy, but maybe the pronunciation is a little bit complicated, right? The rest of you, everyone, easy or difficult to practice? It's what still think? complicated for me. What is the most complicated, the affirmative or the negative form? Is the aff the affirmative? Okay, but no yeah. worries. We will continue practicing the week. Okay. What else? What else do you feel the, that the is difficult? The regular verbs, but using uh, Celia, say me that uh -huh. uh, I need use the irregular verbs list. You can use exactly. So remember, everybody, the idea is to use both the regulars and also the irregular. So you can memorize them. The more you practice, the more you will learn. Now, super good everyone, because I can see you are trying. Okay, I know maybe we have some mistakes, but you are practicing, you are trying, and that is exactly what I need, that you practice. Okay, that you try. If you feel difficult, I mean, don't worry. During this week, we will continue practicing. Okay, the idea is that you feel confident with this topic, that you understand the topic, and with the time, you will get it improved, you will get it better. Now, little details that I need to share with you. For example, what is the pronunciation of this verb? in simple past. What is the pronunciation? Got. Got, okay. In present, we say get. In past is got. And remember, if you want to sound more natural, you can always link the mm -hmm. sound, okay? So you can say got up, got up. Also, for example, some people say, God at work. You can also link the sound. I got up work, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so try to link the uh, sounds. Now, look at the next sentence. I did take breakfast. Hmm. This is affirmative. Is that correct? What do you think? I took my I took ah. So this is something that I want to explain because it's a common mistake that I could identify in different groups. Pay attention here. If the sentence is affirmative, I need a subject, I need the verb, in past, and then I need the complement. Do I need the auxiliary if the sentence is in affirmative? No. No, right? So the sentence is, for example, I cleaned my room. So subject, verb, in past, and complement. No auxiliary, never. So the auxiliary, 
is um, it's only for negative sentences or questions. So this is something that you have to memorize. Auxiliary is only for negative sentences or questions, but not for the affirmative. In the affirmative, you just need the verb in past. So if I say, ideal clean, is that correct? No. No, I have to say. I didn't. If it is affirmative, just the verb in past. I cleaned, okay? Remember, affirmative sentences doesn't need auxiliary. Now look at the next one. In the noon, hmm, is that the correct proposition? No. What is the correct one? At noon. Correct, very good. Be careful with the prepositions, everyone. That is a topic that we already studied. So at noon. Now, I didn't went. Is that correct? No. What is the correct one? I went. In this case, it's in negative. So, I didn't went. I didn't go. Didn't go. Ah, very good job. So, remember the rule. If you have the auxiliary, the verb doesn't need changes anymore. If the sentence is in negative, I have the auxiliary. So the verb, basic form. I didn't go. Now, be careful with the pronunciation. What is the pronunciation of this verb? What? Watched. Aha, uh -huh. very good. I cannot say watch it. Uh, I watched a movie. No, I watched. I watched. Okay. The next one, I didn't not go. Hmm, what do you think? Is that correct? I didn't go. Ah, I didn't go. Remember, didn't everyone is basically the contraction of did not. So if you say not again, is basically you are repeating the word not. So the second not is not necessary, okay? So you say, I didn't go, basically. So remember, I repeat the structure. Affirmative, subject, verb in past, complement. If it is in negative, so then, add the auxiliary. So you need the subject plus didn't, and then the verb, but the verb in present, right? So you don't need the verb in past anymore and the complement. So I clean my room. In negative, it will be I didn't, clean my room. That's the difference between the affirmative and the negative. Is it clear, everyone, the structure? Yes, 50-50, what do you think? Confusing, complicated, or mm, I can do it. What do you think? How do you feel the simple past? Let's be honest. Do you think that simple past is difficult? Huh? Um, I think that it, um, like all in the in in the life is um, hard, but we need to make a additional effort, and we need to practice and practice and practice and practice to perfect. Uh, mm -hmm. perfect perfectionalist per, uh, to perfect the pronunciation the knowledge and and the conversation with other people. 
Exactly. So you need to practice and practice in order to improve basically this uh, grammar tense. But no worries, everyone. I know that this may be a little bit difficult, but we will continue practicing during this week. The only homework that I will ask you is to try to memorize the verbs in the past, okay? Now, we will continue practicing, but before that, I'm going to check attendance. So again, if you listen to your names, say present. Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay. Henry Alberto. I'm here, teacher. All right. Jorge Antonio. Present, teacher. Okay. Jose Ezequiel. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Juan Antonio Elias. Present, teacher. Okay. Juan Jose Herrera. Okay. Karen Rocío. Present. Okay. Carla Sofia. Present. Okay. Carol Elizabeth. Present. Good. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Very good. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Good. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Good. Nelson Orlando. Present. Good. Um, Sandra Abigail. Present. Good. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. All right. Present. Okay. Jancy Kelita. Jose Marvin. And Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. Very good. So everyone, let's continue. Now. Um, because of the time, oh my gosh, yeah, it's very late. I thought it was early. Okay, we're going to have a listening practice, okay? I want you to try to identify the verbs in the past. But before the listening practice, let's see some questions that can help us to understand the audio. Let me ask you, have you ever, ha ever happened these type of things to you? For example, uh, you locked yourself out of your home. Have you ever happened that to you, everyone? When you forgot your, your keys? Your keys, exactly. So you cannot enter to your house. You have to stay out. Have you ever happened to that? Yes, a few times. <laughs> okay, and the rest of you, everyone? Have you ever happened that? The most complicated is when it's not my house. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, be careful <laughs> okay number two everybody you had a bad experience while flying for example if you have traveled to another country have you ever had a bad experience about it no, I never fly. <laughs> okay, let's try ignore the word. Imagine not flying. Okay, imagine when you go to the bus, for example. Okay, have you ever had a bad experience while you go on a bus? It's more yeah. dramatic. Yes. Take a one hundred one D. Yeah. All right. Interesting. It's more dramatic. Well, Different. Okay, who no once? If you want to say una vez, is once. So what happened to you, everyone? What was the bad experience? Uh huh. Once the bus for <laughs> and I slept in the bus. No way, really. And I see very small. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. I have I have to run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a terrible experience. Anyone else? Have you ever had a bad experience on a bus? Robbery. Oh my gosh, really? 
Yeah, that's El Salvador is normal. Yeah, right, definitely. <laughs> you know, a bad experience that I had is that I slept on a bus and when I woke up, the bus was on fire. <laughs> Can you believe that? And I was, yes. I was shocking. I mean, I was like, what is happening? And everybody was screaming. Everybody was trying to go out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't understand until I see smoke. I was- You had the lighter in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. I was panicked. Okay, number three. You were in a traffic accident. Uh -huh, everybody, did it happen to you? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Was okay, important. Was it your fault or not? We are Salvadorian, never. <laughs> uh -huh. We are not guilty. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> Were no, you no, um if I'm tra I'm traversing and doc? Not for my fault. It wasn't your fault, so Atilio, oh, it was because it of it was because of dog. Uh, how did you say Atlanta? killed so many ducks and on the <laughs> no, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, a, cr a dog crossed by. Oh a my dog god. By. Yeah. Oh it my pushed. god. <laughs> and die. Okay. Oh. Now look at the next one. You got stuck in an elevator. Have you ever happened to you? Yes. Yeah. Ministerio de Hacienda, San Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> For two you, hours. How I do got, you feel? Bad. <laughs> horrible. Uh, I, okay, I hold got, on, hold on. At, uh, Luis, yes? I got stuck in a teleférico uh, in a few times. My I God. I live uh, cerca, como sería? Near? Near of, of the teleférico. My gosh. How many oh, hours God. were you stuck? Um, I can't remember. I I was a child, but I I don't forget. It's a very long time. It's, it's a horrible experience. Oh my God! You can see where, where the the only solution is waiting for the energy. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. So look at this, everyone. If you want to say teleférico, you can say cable car. Cable car. So, Celia, in your case, how many, uh, how much time were you stuck in the elevator? Two hours. Two hours. That's crazy. <laughs> were no. you alone or with more people? Uh, two persons, two people. Two more people. Wow. Tony, you said that you stuck in the elevator too. How much time? Um, maybe 10 or more times in the um, Telefonica Tower in San Salvador. Oh uh, my goodness. Uh, the elevator um, is took at the very time. And one time I have a um, ripple down. And another time, uh, I don't know how do you say when, when you go super faster to the app. And then okay. uh, suddenly stop and in this and uh, at the same in, in other times the fall falling down uh, but very faster and my then, gosh <laughs> horrible. so everybody you see that's why it's not a good idea to take an elevator you can take the leather and you can do exercise okay turn now, your screen uh turn your uh, screen no, no, ah no, yeah Tony. Only uh, pray to God. <laughs> <Tony>! <laughs> okay. I'm a gentleman. I, I, uh, I, you are brave. You keep yes, calm. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, and sure. My legs is a bird, like a, a spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at the number find. You found something valuable on the street. Did it happen to you? Yes, $10. Ten dollars. Look at you. Seven years ago, I found three hundred dollars in the black 
Black eh, bolsa, ¿cómo es? Black bag. Bag. Black bag. And what Black do you bag. do? What do you do with the money? I wrong. <laughs> okay. No, That's the, a, the, smart, in, smart. Una pla in the plastic bag. Only this. I I kill him and I kick he kick. ¿Cómo sería? La kick it. Una a kick, kick it. it. Uh -huh. And uh, when I kick it, the back bro is. Uh, sería que, it was like uh, heavy. Yes, y vi que primero rodaron. The, the wow. the... <laughs> I just remember that I lost three hundred dollars long time ago. You know, <laughs> so return Where? it to me. <laughs> in, a black, in a plastic. <laughs> in a yeah, what a coincidence! Right? I I found in Guatemala. I was there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, super good, everyone. Interesting, interesting. If you see all the verbs are in past. So now with the listening practice, some people will be talking about past events, about something that happened to them. So please listen to the audio and you will see different options. Okay, in these options, I wanted to choose what happened to them. Try to understand and tell me what were they talking about. Okay, microphones off, everybody. Microphones off, answer in your notebooks, and then we are going to see the answers. Pay attention, please. One. It was a pretty bad snowstorm and the roads weren't in very good condition. I guess I was driving a little too fast and I went into a skid. I couldn't control the car at all. I went off the side of the road and into the snow. Luckily, the car wasn't damaged and I wasn't hurt, but I couldn't get the car to move. I just had to stay in it and wait for the tow truck. Finally, after about half an hour, the tow truck arrived and pulled me out. Two. Yeah, it was pretty scary. We ran into a bad storm, and the plane really bumped around. The passengers were pretty scared, and of course all the kids were screaming and crying. It lasted for only ten minutes, but those ten minutes felt like an hour. I don't know how the pilot got the airplane out of that storm, but he finally did. And the rest of the flight was perfect. Three. All I wanted was to get the newspaper. You know how some hotels leave it in front of your door in the morning? Anyway, I stepped out of the room to get it, but the door shut behind me. I tried to open it, but it was locked, and my key was inside the room. I was in my pajamas. Luckily for me, someone from housekeeping came by, and she had a key. Four. We were staying in this hotel in Thailand when there was a fire. I was so scared when I heard the fire alarm go off. We got out of the hotel as quickly as we could. The hotel was badly damaged and some people lost their clothes and money. Fortunately, we were lucky. No guests or staff members were injured. 5. I was out shopping with a friend when I saw some kids selling raffle tickets to raise money for a charity. It was for a really good cause, so I bought a ticket. I didn't think much more about it, but in the end, I won first prize. It was a good prize, too. A weekend trip for two to New York City. 6. I was at a restaurant with my wife when this famous movie star sat down at the table next to us. I couldn't believe it. I wanted to ask him for his autograph, but my wife said I should let the man have his dinner in peace. Later, when my wife was in the restroom, I asked the waitress if she would ask the movie star to sign my menu. And believe it or not, he did. Hi, everyone. Do you get the answers? <laughs> One more time? Yes. Okay, pay attention everyone, microphones off. Let's listen it to one more time. One. It was a pretty bad snowstorm and the roads weren't in very good condition. 
I guess I was driving a little too fast and I went into a skid. I couldn't control the car at all. I went off the side of the road and into the snow. Luckily, the car wasn't damaged and I wasn't hurt, but I couldn't get the car to move. I just had to stay in it and wait for the tow truck. Finally, after about half an hour, the tow truck arrived and pulled me out. Two. Yeah, it was pretty scary. We ran into a bad storm, and the plane really bumped around. The passengers were pretty scared, and of course all the kids were screaming and crying. It lasted for only ten minutes, but those ten minutes felt like an hour. I don't know how the pilot got the airplane out of that storm, but he finally did. And the rest of the flight was perfect. Three. All I wanted was to get the newspaper. You know how some hotels leave it in front of your door in the morning? Anyway, I stepped out of the room to get it, but the door shut behind me. I tried to open it, but it was locked, and my key was inside the room. I was in my pajamas. Luckily for me, someone from housekeeping came by, and she had a key. Four. We were staying in this hotel in Thailand when there was a fire. I was so scared when I heard the fire alarm go off. We got out of the hotel as quickly as we could. The hotel was badly damaged, and some people lost their clothes and money. Fortunately, we were lucky. No guests or staff members were injured. 5. I was out shopping with a friend when I saw some kids selling raffle tickets to raise money for a charity. It was for a really good cause, so I bought a ticket. I didn't think much more about it, but in the end, I won first prize. It was a good prize, too. A weekend trip for two to New York City. 6. I was at a restaurant with my wife when this famous movie star sat down at the table next to us. I couldn't believe it. I wanted to ask him for his autograph, but my wife said I should let the man have his dinner in peace. Later, when my wife was in the restroom, I asked the waitress if she would ask the movie star to sign my menu. And believe it or not, he did. Okay, everyone. Let's see the answers. In the number one, what happened? Do you get the answer? Anyone? Uh, yes, I think the, it's the letter A. Her car was damaged. Okay. Do you agree, everybody, or do you have another one? I suppose it's the, the letter A, too, Miss. Okay. Her car was damaged. Mm, okay. So her car was damaged. Actually, she was talking about her car got stuck. And that's why she has to call to take her card out. Okay, be careful. Okay. Number two, what was the answer in the number two? I think it's the letter B. Yeah. Yes, it's the letter B. That is the one. Good job, oh. good job. Letter C. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, letter number three. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't see very well. Uh-huh. <laughs> Gosh. But yeah, right, that's the one. Number four. Letter B. Letter A. Hmm. A or B? C. For or me. C. <laughs> All of you have different answers. Actually, it's the letter B. He said that nobody uh, was injured, so he could escape from the fire. Number five? Letter C. One, five. Letter A. Letter A. That is the one, letter A. Number six? Letter B. Letter C. He saw a famous person. He saw, he saw a famous person. He saw a famous person. Actually, that is the one. Very good. Okay, I could see you are improving your listening. Remember, it's always important to practice. Listening is totally important. Sometimes it's not necessary to understand the full story, but the key words, okay? 
now everyone we will continue practicing tomorrow because unfortunately we don't have more time i just have a question nelson are you there can you hear me yes teacher okay nelson sorry nelson tejada can you hear me I'm asleep Okay, he's sleeping now. <laughs> oh my gosh. He lives there. Hello, you yeah. are a bad person. <laughs> okay, ni modo, right? Okay, the winner for today is what happens is that the winners are already gone. So, um, Jose Elwin, are you there? Oh, no, no, sorry. Elwin Enrique is the one. I'm sorry. Yes, teacher. Okay, Edwin is the winner. The rest of you, everyone, good night. Practice the regulars. Don't forget to work on the platform. Congratulations, my teacher. <laughs> good night. Bye. Good See night. you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Only Edwin stays. Good night. Good night, everyone. Okay, hello, Edwin. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Edwin, you know their purpose for this meeting, right? Is only to clarify some questions that you may have, uh, not only about the class, but also about the course or the platform in general. So this is okay. your moment. Any questions okay. that you may have? Uh, no, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to go to sleep. Ah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. How how did you feel? What is the most difficult thing for the simple past? The regulars or the irregular verse? Which one do you feel more difficult? Uh, the regular verbs because uh, the pronunciation. Okay. <laughs> very good. Very good. Now, in general, talking about learning English. Um, what area do you feel there is more difficult? Speaking, writing, listening, which one? Speaking. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. But you know, something good is that you practice a lot. I always can listen to you practicing in the breaking rooms, try to participate. So that is something that I liked. I want to encourage you to continue doing it. In this case, Edwin, maybe the only observation that I have for you is the platform. Okay, let me share okay. with you. If you see the week number one, super good. Week number two, that's great. But in the week number three, you got only 40. So I need you to try to finish the week number uh, three, because in this moment we are already on the week number four. So you need to finish. OK. okay sure. And in the exam, super good, right? So remember that in this week, we need to finish also the final exam. So try to run with the platform so you can finish it on time okay okay tomorrow uh, uh, you will do it uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay please do it okay so far the attendance is pretty good try don't to miss any more classes please stay okay. the full week so I don't want it to entertain you so much. So if you don't have more questions, I will <laughs> let you go to sleep. You are a good student, so don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Thank You're you. very good. Okay, Edwin, good night. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.